You don't want shine on the most. Watch you wanna real good space. You ever took a ride in a race? Hi guys, it's Kelsey and Kendra and today we're going to be filming our November favorites for you guys. We haven't done a favorites video in a while. I don't remember the last one we did to be honest. Was it September? Might have been September. Maybe it was a current favorite. You guys know we haven't been doing monthly as often just because we always say like we like to do favorites videos with products we're absolutely obsessed with and mm -hmm. we don't like to just do a favorites video just to say we did one that month. Just because we like something, we want to love the exactly. stuff we talk about. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have some products that we've been loving and we can't wait to share them with you guys. So it's mostly makeup, somebody, and then some like miscellaneous. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So the first product I have here is a face primer. This is from the brand Sicily and it's called the Instant and Long Term Primer. The first time I saw this product, I saw Jaclyn Hill talk about it and she was raving about how amazing it was, but she also said it was extremely expensive. So I was kind of reluctant to try it because of the price. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys before you go and look at it. It's very expensive. So don't go saying like, why she, you know, led us to this product and it's like my rent. I'm going to warn you, it's not like rent expensive, but it is expensive. It's a very serum texture like mm -hmm. primer. It's not a silicone base and it's not like a sticky like a tacky kind of mm -hmm. primer. It's very, I don't even want to pump it out because I don't want to yeah, waste, waste it. it. Just take my word for it. Yeah. It's like a, uh, it's smooth, a smooth, silky, like silky. velvety. I would say silky. That's the perfect silky way to describe it. Silky primer and it comes out mm -hmm. like a serum, like a skincare product. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. a serum that you put on at night with like your skincare routine. Mm -hmm. It feels like that. It doesn't feel like a makeup primer. It feels like a skincare yeah. routine kind of primer. It feels mm -hmm. very bougie, very luxurious mm -hmm. and the first time I used this on camera somebody kept telling me I looked very glowy and like smooth and I was like if anybody thinks you know I'm expecting that's not what it was is <laughs> this product it has a very uh like faint smell it doesn't have a strong smell so you don't have to worry about that the only downside to this is just the price honestly but it, it's amazing so I highly recommend it. It's for all skin types, so you don't have to have dry skin or oily skin to use it. Anybody can use it. They have sample sizes at the counter if you don't want to pay the full price. Yeah. So they do have really good sample sizes actually. Yeah, so. I used my sample one like for maybe like a week. And it lasted? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's a good like amount to try mm -hmm. it out to see if you actually like it. So my first makeup favorite is a foundation and I have not showed a foundation in a favorites video since probably like the Bobbi Brown one, which I've been wearing that foundation for the longest time. But this foundation finally got me to stop using the Bobbi Brown one for a while and this is from Makeup Forever. This is their newer version of this because I have like an old one of this. This is the Matte Velvet Skin foundation and it's 24 hour wear you guys know we have very oily skin so anytime i can try out a new matte foundation i'm all here for it because sometimes i feel like some brands neglect the oily skin people and they're always trying to help the dry skin people but Get i'm like you know everybody have their own struggles you know i was completely surprised at how much i liked it i do like this better than their old formulation like the smaller bottles it was like more rounded sure. yeah it was shorter um, that one was very drying like it was super matte but it made your skin feel super dry which was kind of annoying because I am oily but I also don't want to feel like you know a Sahara desert on my face like patchy yeah like, dry flakes. like when you move your face around it feels tight stiff I cannot mm -hmm. stand that but these do the perfect job at making you matte but making your skin still feel and look like skin so I love 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 these the only thing I didn't like um, their color selection, I feel like they should have had some more in between shades because I had to get two. So I mixed these. I put the darker one on the outer like perimeter of my face and I put the lighter one in the center because I'm lighter in the middle of my face and then like around I'm darker. I feel like a lot of people's faces like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that's how I use these. Or you can mix them, but I just like to do in inward and then outward. I think I see makeup Taylor do that. Yeah, she does that sometimes. Yeah, love, love, love these. Obsessed. I'm in the colors. R530 and then Y535. So yeah, those are the two colors that I like to use and this foundation is bomb. And also I love this packaging because it's so easy to travel with. Kind of like the L'Oreal Infallible Matte. Yeah, it's like plastic packaging. and it's flat. So you don't have to worry about glass breaking and you don't have to worry about taking up too much space in your makeup bag when you're traveling. The next makeup product I have here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is a bronzer. I feel like Kelsey and I have been using the same bronzer, the same two bronzers 
for like ever now like yeah. the first one that we got hooked on was the Guerlain terracotta bronzer Bomb. um but it's a moisturizing bronzer yeah so it makes my forehead kind of oily yeah so it doesn't keep you like matte and i was on the hunt for a matte bronzer in like individual packaging because we also love the kkw beauty mm -hmm. bronzer and her contour and highlight palette like the one with the four different yeah. ones in it yeah that palette is bomb but you don't always want to travel with something with like a bigger you know packaging yeah, all I the time use all of those yeah i don't always want to bring that with me and i needed something like an individual kind of bronzer and i saw someone use this on instagram and she was like my skin tone she was so pretty i forgot her instagram name but she was like brown and i was like where what bronzer is that and i saw like the product list yes yeah, and it's hard to find bronzers for for darker skin girls. tones because every time people say this bronzer is amazing i'm like this is not a bronzer <laughs> for me <laughs> not at for least. you so it's so hard to find like colors that are like suitable for our skin tones because i also like mm -hmm. bronzers that you can build up if you want to contour and this one i'm obsessed with this is in the color mahogany and it just says powder bronzer so you can get this on sephora and they have like a nice selection thank you anastasia for always you know including the darker people when it comes to you know her products and bronzers are a really difficult area in makeup when it comes to darker skin tones yeah i love the packaging it has a like full mirror in it that you know you can pretty much see a lot for this to only be a bronzer it's a good size mirror for the packaging the actual color is basically what the name says it's like a mahogany type brown color it's coming up lighter on camera but it's yeah, definitely it's darker, darker in person mm -hmm. so it's kind of like us yes <laughs> uh -huh. the, the lighting be playing us sometimes yeah so i highly recommend this bronzer if you guys are looking for a new one the packaging is bomb it's like a nice flat packaging it kind of looks like her blushes i feel like she has yeah. blushes mm -hmm. um blushes in this packaging so i really love like these the flat side and it, it's a compact so there is a mirror in it if you are traveling and you don't want to pack like a big one but i highly recommend that it's matte so there's no shimmer in it and that's annoying about the girl on one it does have like a little bit of a tiny little flex in it but you can't see it on your you face you can't see though. it on your face but i mm -hmm. do like the, the idea that that one is all like matte mm -hmm. so yeah. if you're looking for a simple matte bronzer try the anastasia one hmm. i have to give that a try okay so my next makeup favorite is a translucent powder and it's from laura mercier of course because it's like my favorite for translucent powders um, i know a lot of people always use like banana powder and all this kind of stuff and i personally feel like I don't know how to work with banana powder because I'm darker and I feel like I would have a white cast on camera. So I, I need to practice more with the banana powders. But you guys know that we've been using the original Laura Mercier translucent powder for the longest time. And I got this mini one of this darker color. This is their translucent medium deep. And I got the smaller one just because I wanted to see how I liked it. And guys, I have not used my regular translucent powder since I bought this. It's darker, um, so it is still a translucent powder, but it's a darker tra translucent powder. So it's not like, you know, the regular one, it's just darker. So it's for darker skin, and I can bake with this, I can melt my concealer in with this, like either way. And I noticed that my makeup, it still looks kind of the same, but I feel like this makes me look more warm and less ashy. Because sometimes it's kind of annoying about some translucent powders, you feel like you gotta go over it with your regular powder like I a do. color powder because i felt like i was looking ashy sometimes i'm like wait i need some more warmth in here mm -hmm. but this i feel like i don't have to go back over my concealer after i've already set it with translucent powder with regular powder so it's like saves you a step exactly so i'm so in love with this i'm gonna get the big one i'm so glad that they made a darker powder like i've been noticing a lot of brands do that now Indeed. which is so smart because like some people who are darker than me don't always want to use a translucent powder because some translucent powders aren't translucent, translucent. you know what I mean? Even though Laura Mercier one still does a it's really good job at that you know, I being close to really translucent. Um, but I started to feel like I was looking ashy sometimes, like I said, so I want to try something different. And this is amazing. So I'll show you guys this on camera when I do like a makeup tutorial and so you guys can see it like how it looks um, as I'm like putting it on my face. So, cause it's kind of hard to tell in like the packaging. And then my next two favorites are concealers it's the same one it's just two different colors y'all i have been obsessed yeah she's been talking to me about this, this concealer every time we sit down and do our makeup 
You need to try these Cover FX concealers. You need to try these Cover FX concealers. They're so bomb. They're like, they go on so smooth and creamy. They blend out like a dream, like amazing. Um, so this is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Um, I have two colors. I have deep two and three. And I like to go in with three first. And then um, I like to do three like all over my face, like in the highlighted areas. And then two is a little bit lighter. So I like to just put it under my eyes if I want a little more brightness underneath. So like the colors that. are really good. They have a great color selection. I love the packaging. Love the packaging. It's like square and then the wand is like fat at the end. And like it's round. At the tip. It's like rounded. So it's not so, a doe foot. Yeah, it's not doe foot, which I prefer. It covers more of that area of your face. Like I said, the formulation is absolutely amazing because I feel like some concealers that I have, they're full coverage, but I, they don't give you enough time to blend it out. Because by the time you get to like your forehead or like this part of your face is dried. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You have to rewet your beauty blender. But these give you time to play. That's why it's called, you know, power play. Cause you know, <laughs> give you some time. I mostly only use Cover VX like primers. I don't really use a lot of their, you know, other, you know, face products. Face products. But I want to give these concealers a try and I'm so glad I did because they're my new favorite concealers. Obsessed with these. Okay, so the last and final makeup product that we have in the November favorites is a eyeshadow palette. Yes. And I have been using and abusing this palette. First of all, this is from Urban Decay and it's the Born to Run palette. It's very versatile. All so the many gorgeous colors. It has a lot of neutrals in here and it also has like a lot of like regular colors in mm -hmm. here as well yes. that you can wear. So it's good for any kind of girl, the neutral girl it's or the girl. Right. <laughs> it's good for the neutral girl or the girl that likes to color. color that likes to play around with color. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my favorite colors are Baja. Obsessed with Baja. Uh, Punk. I it, like Ignite. I like Steel Shot. I use Steel Shot a lot. Steel Shot. It's like this peachy color up here. It's like the most perfect oh, translucent. Oh, I haven't used that. I haven't even put it in there. Oh yeah. See, I use them all the time. I love Stranded. I'm obsessed with Stranded. I'm wearing, wearing Stranded and Ignite today on my lid. I have Ignite on my lid. I'm lying. I also got Accelerate on too. Oh, I have Ignite on my lid. So they have like the most gorgeous, like reddish, uh, copper tones. Riff is good too. I love Riff. Riff mm -hmm. is a good like, um, like a neutral lid color, or mm -hmm. you can put it in your crease. crease. And Weekender is the perfect brow bone shade. It's not too, too light. So you guys should just get this and thank us later because it's bomb. This has been my favorite palette besides my KKW uh, eyeshadow palettes. Those are also bomb. I feel yeah, like they are good. I use those in like a lot of makeup tutorials that we've done. We haven't done that many, but the ones we've done, I feel like I've used hers a lot. We are going to start back doing more makeup tutorials, guys. Because I've been getting like chat requesting those. But, you know, our skin. Yes, it's I haven't hard been that confident with my skin lately. a beauty vlogger and having to do makeup and your skin looks like Yes. It's so, so annoying. When you don't like how your skin looks, the last thing you want to do is film a makeup tutorial. In front of bright lights. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No thanks. Yeah. But... If you guys are wondering what eyeshadow palette we've been wearing, like if you've been seeing like some pretty looks, it's probably this palette. More than likely. likely. Mm -hmm. And it's super pigmented. If you haven't tried any of Urban Decay's palettes, I feel like this would be a good first one to try. Because there's so many different colors. In yes. It. So get your hands on this. Okay, so next moving on to like our favorite parts of favorites videos. Yeah, I get the most excited about I love the talking section. about random stuff. I do too. I just love talking about random stuff. Okay, so the first, you know, miscellaneous it's product that I have. It's kind of beauty too. For me, anyway. I and consider, inner beauty. Inner I consider beauty. it beauty. Self-care. Yeah. Mental beauty. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so, the first product that I have is a candle. And it's not a Bath & Body Works candle. By the way, we did not go to that sale. I know a lot of people were like, are you guys going to show us what you got? Wingo. Uh, I tried to go online, but everything was gone by the time I went on the site. So. And we didn't feel like going to the store. No. Because we would have walked out with more than we could carry. You know? Yeah. That's why I prefer online. They can just bring it yeah. to the door. So, but we still, you know, don't worry. We're good on the Bath and Body Works train. Yes. We ain't ran out yet. <laughs> We're good. So this candle is by the brand Mason Margiela Paris. But I just like to go by Replica because that's like how I know this brand from like their fragrances. Because mm -hmm. I have like uh, their Jazz Club, which I like jazz to wear club. a lot during the fall and winter time. But for a while, I don't even know they had candles. Their candles are so, so nice. Um, even though I burned through these kind of fast because I was like lighting them all day long. But this smells so amazing. It's perfect for this time of year. It's called By the Fireplace. I know y'all are like, okay, Kelsey, what the hell is the name of the candle? <laughs> this is called By the Fireplace. 
and it smells so freaking good it's perfect for the holidays it's very warm kind of woodsy it's very unisex so i feel like if you live with you know boyfriend husband they would like it too because i know some scents may be kind of like man what is that it smells too sweet like, or some sweet scents even me personally give me a headache yeah, i can't take too like sweet. i cannot take it but yeah. this is like the perfect balance of warm sweet and cozy and it has like that fireplace yeah it has like, like a fireplace smell the wood in it. smell so nice. this is like genius whoever made this this is like perfect for this time of year i ended up seeing this in the store and i was like wait they had candles and i smelled yeah, I this one it. i was like this smells amazing it just describes it as burning wood and chestnut so hmm. i mean that's a perfect description so this candle is amazing i need to get more um when i saw this in the store they only had two so i picked up yeah, those two them. and i burned them in my room for about a week and i had like, to get them amazing. online afterwards like later later because they were sold, sold out, out when i went to go look yeah they're that good so the next product i have here is a perfume and i feel like i should start mentioning perfumes in every favorites video because i'm sure i have enough to yeah. recommend for probably the next five years um i wanted to start using this in paris because i knew that when i brought it back from paris i was gonna smell paris as soon as i smelled it because a lot of scents bring memories and this one is called, I didn't even say the name of it. Sorry, I'm just so excited about the name. It was kind of corny and cliche. This is Mon Perry by YSL. And it basically means my Paris. Why so, is that cliche? Because I took it to Paris and it has the word Paris in it. It's kind of corny. Oh. I mean, but whatever. I just thought it was fitting to bring this scent to Paris with me. And now when I smell it, I like literally think of when we were there and it's making me so happy it's super sweet so if you're not into sweet smells then don't get it but it's like a very like girly like i don't know it's very girly clean a little bit of clean in there but mostly sweet it's so good i feel like the longer like it sits on my skin it gets sweeter though when you first spray it out it smells more clean mm -hmm. but then the longer it sits like on your clothes and stuff like i still have clothes like a coat that i wore the first night and it's reeks of this. Like every time I like open the closet, I'm like, I smell Mon Perry. <laughs> it's very strong. So if you're looking for a nice long lasting smell, this is not a light perfume. It's not like, ooh, cute, dainty. No, <laughs> it's very strong. Like it lingers for a while. When we were out in Paris, like every time I would move, Kelsey was like, you smell good. <laughs> like in an annoying way, cause she do that. That means I can't smell myself Yeah. when she does that. And I do that to her sometimes, depending on what we each decide to wear. Yeah. Someone, it's like a perfume They have to change up their scent. Yeah, have to change up their scent. Sometimes I have to ask her what she's wearing and we just wear the same thing because it's yeah. just annoying. There are certain scents you know, like, don't, it's like, if it's a competition, don't even, yeah. don't even bother showing up yep. to the party. Uh-huh. Okay. If she's wearing Alien, I just need to wear Alien too. Yeah. Like, it's, that it's certain scents that are very strong. Very strong. Um, you just can't help but smell. Mm -hmm. This is very potent. So if you're into like potent, strong scents, scents like me, I don't do the light stuff. You might as well wear, wear Body Splash. This is bomb. So sweet, so girly. And this bottle is so gorgeous. It was like a present. <laughs> so pretty. The very last two products I have to talk about are both uh, body care. Well, skin care and body care. And they are both from the brand Lulabo. Obsessed with Lulabo. Lulabo has become one of our favorite brands because I have mm -hmm. a perfume from them called Centaur 33. That's another strong one. Very brand. expensive, but so good. So worth it. Um, I wanted to try it because I heard Rosita Alphabon talk about it and she raved about it and I bought that perfume without smelling it. That's how much <laughs> she was raving about it. So I had to buy it. It's bomb. But when you wore it though, everywhere we went, I noticed guys were asking her what yes. she had on or asking um, us what we had on. What? Excuse me. They were like, what are you wearing? Um, that's not in this video. I probably should have talked about it because I don't think I mentioned that before. Yeah, Centaur 33 um, by Lalabo. Lalabo, the brand they're known for that scent, mm -hmm. Centaur 33. So good. It's so good. I, know I feel like you either hate it or you love it. Though. But I know it's a lot of men like it on with us, women, apparently, uh -huh. because I noticed a lot of women were asking what we were wearing. No, men, men. were. But these yeah. two products I have here, my mom actually bought them and she was so sweet we were at um in the mall there for our, um during our birthday and she wanted to get these as birthday gifts for us so she was like get what you want in my head i'm like don't tell me that so i was trying to be no. you know get if like, it was if i was mine i would have got like more stuff yeah so i just picked up a body butter things. and a mask yeah so this body butter is from lalabo so the scent is hinoki i'm probably saying that wrong henna henna 
I don't know. I'm obsessed with their packaging, first of all. It's so, like, minimal. And they do have a store in New York that I haven't gone to yet. Uh, whenever we go back to New York, I will be going inside the store. But this body butter so is bomb. so bomb. You look at these bougie brands that have, like, perfumes and candles, and you think that their body products aren't, they ain't hitting on nothing. you like, that is not moisturizing. It probably just smell like perfume. Well, the smell is amazing. First of all, it's very it's very Lilabo. Mm -hmm. It kind of smells similar to the Centaur 33 perfume I, I have. It. It's in that family, mm -hmm. but it's still different than the perfume. Mm -hmm. It's very like calming. I don't know what it is. It's like it kind of has a masculine scent too. It's a too. masculine scent. It's like a soapy, calming smell that's also warm. It's really hard to explain. You have to smell Give me this. I'm like trying to help you. I feel like you can't really describe. You have to smell it. It smells yourself. like Hollister. Hollister, she said that Amber Crombie, it smells like Hollister. And Fitch Hollister kind of smell. It it's smells really like nice. Hollister. So, it just makes me think when we used to work there, honestly. Yeah. But it's so good it's and so it good. makes your skin hella soft. Yes, it's Extremely. very moisturizing. So that explains the avocado, avocado in it. Yeah. So I love that it smells amazing, but it's also like a good product. Like it actually, it's effective. Yeah. Because I like smelling good when I go to bed at night, but I still want to actually be moisturized. This <laughs> does both of those things. Yes. So you don't even have to like spray like a body spray on if you're someone who wears perfume or body spray to bed like me you can skip that step if you apply this and only this you don't need that so i highly recommend this it's kind of a treat to yourself so get it as a birthday gift or a christmas gift for yourself the next product i got kelsey also got this product we both bought um, yeah i'm waiting on my body butter this. i'm yeah, yeah i'm waiting on my body butter because nordstrom oh, did order taking this. so damn long i want my body butter because she used mine the whole time we were in paris so that's why it's halfway gone so I didn't do all this by myself. She, well, I knew helped. Mama was buying it, and I I was trying not to like be like grabby, like oh, I want that, I want that. Yeah, when somebody so was, like gives me something, like say yeah. okay, what you want, I don't want to do too much. Yeah, because I know. Even my mama. Yeah, because I know how I spend money, and I don't expect nobody else to spend that much money on me. Yeah, me neither. But uh, so we both kind of have been sharing this, this one. So um, good though. Amazing. Try it. You'll love it. The next little Labo product that we both uh, picked was their face mask. This is their char charcoal face mask. And I'm obsessed with this product. It's, good. it's a very, first you look at it and it's a very dark, almost black product. In a it little is bit, black. It says charcoal though. It's black. I love the smell of this. It's very mm. minty. Yeah. like a minty smell to it. I like it because it doesn't dry out your skin, skin. but it still detoxes your skin. Yes, it has shea butter in it, so mm -hmm. that explains why it doesn't dry it out. And mm -hmm. I love that about this because mm -hmm. a lot of like charcoal masks like this are very drying. Mm -hmm. And like they do what they're supposed to do, like pull out impurities and all that. Yeah, because charcoal is like a magnet for dirt. Yeah. It just sucks it out. Mm -hmm. But this, the best part about this mask, a tiny little bit goes yes. the longest it's spread way. Like a little bit and then you just spread it all, all over your face. Across your face. And yeah. I love how it looks. It look, looks like that, like, you know, signature spa look. It's super thick too. I think because it's the shea butter in it. Yes, it's very, very thick. thick. So this is going to last me a while. It says 24, fresh 20, 24 months after use. So does this. So that does mean that um, it's a good thing that it doesn't last too long. Yeah. So that means that it's not a lot of preservatives in it. So I guess that's a good thing, you know. So if you're looking into the Lilabo brand and you don't know what to try, like if you want to get into some of their products, the body cream and the face mask are very good self-care products that I highly recommend. Okay, guys. So our final favorite, well, is more so mine. No, it's mine too. Well, it's hers too, but I feel like I ended up one time drinking a whole bottle by myself. I yeah. Like, I was like, I wait. to look for it. It was gone. I was like, wait, I forgot about it by myself? Yeah. Uh, this wine we talked about on our blog channel. Um, you guys, I'm pretty sure most of you watch our blogs. This is the Five Points Berries Blue Flannel, a sweet blueberry wine. This wine um, is so good. It's amazing. And don't think just because it's a sweet wine that it's cute. No, it will sneak up on you. It's strong. It makes you very relaxed, which bread wine is supposed to do. You will be lit. I want to say lit. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say lit, but it does. It depends on your tolerance for alcohol. And how much you pour. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it does sneak up on you. Like, I drank this it's when lit. I was taking a bath one time. I shouldn't have poured that much. <laughs> <laughs> because a bath already relaxes you. Yes. And a glass of wine, mm. girl, that's like heaven. 
everything good. but this I is so made me good. fall in love with red, red. wine it really did because we're white wine people like drinkers we were but now i feel like i'm, I'm, I'm a getting red over wine. to the red side i'm a red it's so good i'm a red girl mm -hmm. love it because now I'm, like i feel like white like okay yeah i like that but then red i feel like it relaxes me more and i heard red wine like a glass is good for you one That's glass like, at least one i mean sometimes i have like two but you know what is still it's good for your heart it's a lot of benefits to, to red wine a lot of antioxidants so you might want to you know look, look into, into that it. you know it makes me feel even better because you know i can get lit and healthy right i mean what's better than that yeah <laughs> the only place i've seen this is whole foods and only one of our whole foods carries it so that's kind of annoying because i went to another oh, one yeah. and they didn't have it in there oh, so sorry. i don't think all of them carry it so if you happen to see it anywhere Pick it so up. Good. It's so bomb. And it's so a sweet it. red. So if you're yeah. into sweet reds, you would love this. Yeah. I'm not into the bitter reds. Some of them. I like the Menage a Trois. Um, that's not as bitter as some other ones. Like a Cabernet. Like a straight up Cabernet. Mm, yeah, that's true. I don't, really I don't like mind it. it. I don't she mind prefers it. it. But I still like a little more sweet. Mm. Well, yeah. This is by far the best red I have tried um, so far. Um. Stella Rosa also has a really good red. Theirs is really good. But it doesn't get me as buzzed as this, so I prefer this. It works it, faster. Yeah, it just works faster. I don't have time to be sipping and sipping. I'm like, okay. I feel too sober right now. Yeah. Um, nothing wrong with being sober, by the way. Nah, nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying, but if I'm drinking, I, I, I don't want to feel sober. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is so, so good. Highly recommend it. If you guys have any red wine recommendations, please share with the class because we, you know, love to know and mm -hmm. hear. Responsibly, 21 and over. Of course, please. Yeah, we are not encouraging you have your whole that. life to drink. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. So that completes this November favorites. We hope we didn't talk your ear off too much. Mm -hmm. But you guys know when we get to talking about products, we can't stop sometimes. Yes. So let us know if you guys have tried any of these products before, and also let us know what you're planning on trying mm -hmm. because all these products that we mentioned are obviously bomb. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Take it day by day